Hi, it's Oli from GetGeek, and today we're going to do a quick video to show you how to change the text color on Divi. Um, now, this came through as a request on one of my other YouTube videos a while back, um, so whoever requested that, I'm finally fulfilling that. Um, so basically this will apply to a blog post or a page, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to do it on a page for now. So if we just go add new, and this I'm going to use the Divi Builder, and this is on the latest version of Divi. And then basically we're going to build from scratch, but it doesn't really matter. It's all the same where you have your module. So we're just going to insert a, a standard row and we're going to scroll down to uh, the text module and then in here we've got uh, some default text that has been uh, thrown in so straight away uh, you can see that it's got it's grey um, on either a transparent or white background whatever that is so if you go down to background you can we can change that to black for example now straight away you can see as well that maybe the grey doesn't jump out on the black background so what you want to do is if you go over to the design tab then click on text we can change that to say red and there we have red text on a black background now uh, to take that even further we may want to say let's change one of the words to a different color so what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the contents tab and in here if we go back to text you may have noticed you've got these two tabs here you have uh, visual and text now visual is more like your kind of word we can use like paragraphs and alignment and stuff like that and bullet points and all the rest of it now text is more for your HTML markup um, so in here you can do everything you can do in there but you need to know the code to do it um, so what we're going to do is we're going to define our own tag uh, or CSS tag and we're going to call it yellow so we're going to say your yellow and basically we have to use open angular brackets in here you put your tag name so that can be whatever you like as long as it's not using a predefined one in CSS and then um, here we're going to you've got to do the same but you do a slash and then you use the same name again and then close it with angular brackets now you'll probably notice in here that nothing has changed um, and in here nothing has changed either because it's hidden at the moment because when you start defining stuff in angular brackets it doesn't get shown by the HTML because they're uh, key symbols um, now I'm just going to expand this a little bit so it basically says your yellow content goes here but that doesn't read right because technically that's still red so what we're going to do is we're going to go into here and we're just going to save this draft for now while we go off into the other areas of WordPress now you've got two options of where you want to do this so uh, basically you can come into here and go into appearance and then customize and then go additional CSS and then you can put it in there if you want and then just go publish once you're done or the other option if we come out of here is to go to the Divi and then theme options and then if you scroll down here what we're going to do is we've got the custom CSS here so what we do here is we use the same name we used previously which was our little tag and then we use open angular brackets uh, not open angular open uh, curly brackets and then we're going to use the basic tag this, this is a HTML tag here of color and then we're going to say yellow now Oh, and we've got to finish it off with a semicolon. Now, there is loads of predefined colors in here. Like, I mean, you could go pink, you could go blue, um, and then you can even um, also use RGB colors or hex. So if you want the hex, like I just copied it before, which is that. So we're going to go save changes on that. And then a tick comes up. And then basically, if we go back to our page, and then if we were to refresh this, you can see straight away it now says your yellow content goes here so that's that's it basically and I mean you can define as many uh, CSS tags as you like um, uh, yeah so basically go wild um, so if you've enjoyed this video uh, please give it a thumbs up um, and 
subscribe to the channel. Also, um, if you really liked it, um, then there's a couple of affiliate links, one for Elegant Themes, which if you uh, upgrade or purchase subscription from them, then we get a kickback, as well as uh, there's a link to our SiteGround hosting, which I always recommend for hosting. Um, yeah, so any help is appreciated. It's been uh, Ollie from GetGeek. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks, bye.